And finally, we have this section here, the matching. So this is really just reinforcing that whole base power solution thing, the swoosh, as some folks call it. 16 to the 1 half power equals x. I see that right here, so this is a. x to the second power equals 1 over 16. Well, that's b. 4 to the x power equals 16, and so on and so on. I'm not going to do all these for you. I know you want me to, but I think some of this needs to be done by your own brain. I will say this, that number 2, 4 to what power is 16? Well, that's squared. Mm -hmm. And 16 to the negative 1 half power, remember 16 to the 1 half power is the square root of 16, or that's 4. But the negative means we got to flip-flop it. Not flip-flop this and make it a 2, but flip-flop 16. So this becomes 1 over 16, first of all. So in the process, it's 1 over 16. Now it's still to the 1 half power. But notice that 1 half power is a positive 1 half power. Okay? So that's still saying the square root. I just don't have to flip it anymore. The square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 16 is 4. The answer is 1 over 4. And finally, what squared is equal to 16? Well, there's two possible answers, actually. Um, I could square 1 fourth, but I could also square negative 1 fourth. So if I take the square root of both sides, um, that one there we said was B. Um, I guess, yeah. Uh, it's a 1 fourth or a negative 1 fourth if you take the square root. All right. Thank you very much.